Dear friends and family, it is with great affection for Gage and Megan that we have gathered together today to witness and to bless their holy union. To this sacred moment, they bring the fullness of their hearts as a treasure and as a gift from God to share with one another. They bring the dreams which bind them together in an eternal commitment. They bring their gifts and talents, their unique personalities and their spirits, which God will unite together into one being as they build their life together. Gage, I can't believe that the day is here. I get to marry my best friend. I never believed in the term soulmates, but you are definitely my other half and a man that I can't live without. They say that girls look for traits in their future husbands that remind them of their own fathers, and it must be true. You're hardworking, caring, and patient. I'm the luckiest girl in the world to be marrying the most thoughtful, kind, intelligent, and honest man. I love you more than words can express. I will see you at the end of the aisle. I love you, handsome Megan, soon to be Martin. Megan, I have never been this nervous for anything in my life. <laughs> nervous for, not for the thought of marrying you, but for living up to the expectations I have in my mind for the kind of <laughs> man that I feel like you deserve. You're the most incredible person <laughs> I have ever come across. I am reminded by the things you do every day just how very blessed I am to have you in my life. I cannot promise you that I will ever grow to be the man I know you should have, but I will and do love you with everything I have in me. This is the greatest day of my life, and I cannot wait to see you tonight and every night for the rest of my life. Here's truly Gage. Oh. <laughs> oh. Austin Gage Martin, will you take Megan Brittany McGill to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health? Keep yourself only unto her as long as you both shall live. Oh. Megan Brittany McGill, will you take Austin Gage Martin to be your wedded husband? to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. Will you love him? Will you comfort him, honor him? Will you keep him in sickness and in health? Keep yourself only unto him as long as you both shall live. I will. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and it always perseveres. I gauge, take thee, Megan. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's ordinance. According to God's ordinance. I give thee my pledge. I give thee my pledge. Uh, Megan, take the gauge. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death do us part. According to God's ordinance. According to God's ordinance. I give thee my pledge. I give thee my a cord with three strands would not be easily broken. Engage 
you know that you are a strand. Megan, you're one of those strands. And God is the other strand. So as you build your lives together, you become stronger. And when you allow God to be that third strand in your life, as I encourage you to do, then nothing will be too hard for you. And your strand will not be easily broken. Your cord will not be broken. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Spirit. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. For as much as Gage and Megan have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and these people and in so doing have given and pledged their vows and have declared the same by giving and receiving a ring. By the authority that has been given to me by God and by the state of Oklahoma, I pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Gage, that's what you've been waiting for. <laughs> you can kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mistress Gage Martin. I want to thank you guys for being here to celebrate this special day with Megan and Gage. As the only girls together growing up with a bunch of boys, it gave us a really special bond. I'm so honored that they asked me to be their maid of honor and asked me to share this special day with them. I wish them a life full of love, babies, and all the animals. <laughs> and dilly dilly. <laughs> Gracious and Heavenly Father, we thank you today for the beautiful bond of love that exists between Gage and Megan. We thank you for this wedding ceremony with these family members and these friends. We are so grateful for your presence with us and for your divine blessing on this holy event. I ask that you would be with us and direct us. Amen.